Now we've adjusted the video a little bit based on um, we've adjusted the video a little bit to put in a bypass on our two bulb series. I'm going to show you what I mean about a bypass, and this helps us explain series circuits a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my system here. I have two bulbs that are live. Okay, again, the top one on your screen may look yellow. The next one is blue. It's actually red and blue. For some reason, it shows up differently on the video. Okay, now I have a second switch down here. Okay, the switch on the right, on the right is my power switch, main power coming in. When that's turned on, I currently have 123.7. Okay, if that's turned off, I basically have zero. So I'm gonna turn that on. Okay, so now I have an energized circuit, both bulbs are lit. They're still in series because if I turn, if I open up one, both bulbs go out. So we're gonna leave that screwed in. Now, I have one of my meter clamp clamped on neutral. It's a good habit to get into to use alligator clips when you're taking meter readings because that way you will never have an issue with having both hands in the circuit at one time. Okay, so across L1, which is my power coming in, I have my 123.9. Across at bulb one, I have my 123.9. Out of bulb one, I have my 59. Into bulb two, I have my 59. Out of bulb... Okay, I have zero, because on out of bulb two, I'm on the same side of neutral. With me so far? Okay, now, what I've done is installed a switch that bypasses line bulb one. Okay, so it goes from bulb one okay into the line of bulb two so if i turn this switch on first of all you notice bulb two got a little bit brighter i'm no longer splitting voltage so if i go to the input of bulb two i have 123 point some volts out of bulb two i have zero because i'm on neutral now into bulb one to neutral i still have 123 but okay, but it's uh, but it's not going anyplace, okay, because I bypassed it. It's still a live point. Okay, if I take a voltage reading across the switch, into the switch, I have 123 to neutral. Out of the switch, I have 123 to neutral. Now watch what happens when I turn this switch off. Okay, I'm still on the output of the switch. So now I'm getting the actual voltage reading across bulb one because that's the one I'm trying to bypass. So that's a bypass circuit. We're just putting a switch around one of the devices in series. Now, let's talk about series circuits in general, okay? We have to be aware about a few things in series circuits in general. Because of the fact voltage is split between all the loads in a series circuit, we can't use a series circuit in HVAC to drive motors and stuff like that because motors require full voltages, full amperage, and everything else. So we have to use parallel circuits for all of our motors and motor and other such loads in heating, air conditioning, and basically anything else. Okay, because anything where you want full voltage, you can't use a series circuit. Now, we can use series circuits for safety controls, okay? So if I have a bunch of switches that have to be closed, a bunch of safety devices that have to show as operational, I can put them all in series, and because there's only one path for electricity to flow, okay, it's going to require all of these devices to be closed. In other words, on, closed switch, means that there's power flowing, it's closed. Open switch means no power. So all of these devices have to be in series in order for electricity to flow. So we use series circuits primarily for safety devices and operational controls. Because everything has to be closed or in the running position for it to work. So in our next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple, um, I'm going to show parallel circuits.